So we've got to talk about this Candace Owens clip because as you all know, she recently testified before Congress and Republicans, for whatever reason, felt as if she would be a good person to invite to testify about white nationalism and white supremacy. Now, if you'll recall, she was actually one of the individuals who was cited in the Shooter's Manifesto who just carried out the terror attack on two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand. So not really the best person to ask if the rhetoric she uses is influencing people to activate their hatred for individuals they deem the other in violent ways. Not the best person to talk to on this issue, but nonetheless, Republicans invited her and um, she was questioned before Congress. Now, Ted Lieu, someone who generally irritates me, I got to give him credit here because he played a clip of her in front of her where he uses her own words against her. And I think it kind of highlights the absurdity of Republicans just inviting her to testify in the first place. And he plays a clip of her talking about how Hitler wouldn't have been so bad if he just contained his genocide to Germany and didn't expand and become a so-called globalist. And her reaction, uh, she is visibly angered by him playing this clip of her own words. Take a look. In congressional hearings, the minority party gets to select its own witnesses. And of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned. Um, by uh, elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It, it does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. That is bonkers to me. You've got to understand, to even have that thought manifest in your mind, you have to be, one, completely delusional and have absolutely no knowledge of history whatsoever, or two, actually kind of believe that Hitler wasn't as bad as uh, everyone thinks he is. Do you understand what she said in that clip and why it's so absurd? She said that, Hitler just doing nationalism, I guess to oversimplify what he was doing, it wouldn't have been so bad if he just contained what he was doing to Germany. Candace, do you understand what he was doing in Germany? Are you aware of the fact that he was murdering Jews? He was putting them in gas chambers, Candace. Do you not know that that happened? And then this dunce gets upset that her own words were used against her. Maybe don't say stupid things like that to begin with. But certainly don't get mad when people use your own words against you because that's batshit crazy. What you're saying, Candace, is lunacy. And she has a history of saying unhinged, irrational lies. During that same hearing, she claimed that the Southern strategy was made up. It never happened. What? You're, you're just going to claim that the Southern strategy never happened? Are you delusional? Like, this is a serious question. I'm asking earnestly. Are you delusional? Because you are completely disregarding history and whatever blanks you have left out in your head, you just, just fill them with your own bizarre beliefs that aren't attached to reality. I mean, someone this ignorant, you'd think they wouldn't have a chance to gain as large of a platform as she has, but because she's fueled 
by right-wing billionaire money, she can basically say as much idiotic things as she wants and get away with it. Like for me, if I said something really stupid, there would be consequences. People would leave the show. I would lose viewers. I would potentially lose patrons, depending on how bad the thing I said was. But for her, she never has to worry about that because she has that cushion of right-wing billionaires propping her up. So she can say things, just completely insane delusional things, like Hitler wouldn't have been as bad if he just stayed in Germany, which is insane, and still go on, have a show on whatever, I, I don't know what she has, she has a new show, I don't know if it's on PragerU, I don't know if it's on Fox News' online Netflix type system, I don't know, but she can still go on and have a career. It's absolute insanity to me that people like this are taken seriously. People like this are called to testify before Congress by one of two major parties. I mean, this just really speaks to how insane and um, awful American politics is in 2019. This is what we have to deal with. Someone like Candace Owens is called to testify on white nationalism. I'm sorry, but if we're going to talk about white nationalism, Candace Owens is the last person that I think I want to hear from on this issue. The last person that I want to hear from, especially after she tried to legitimize Hitler in a very direct way and then had the nerve to get angry when Ted Lieu played her own words back to her. I mean, get the fuck out of here. You're, you're delusional. You're ignorant, Candace. And you're only here because right wingers are using you as a tool. So recognize that because that's all you are to them. They don't care about you. They're using you as a tool. So I hope you can sleep at night knowing that you are one of the country's biggest sellouts, Candace, because that's what you are.